Now that we have our clip segmented in our source pane, we can perform an insert edit to bring it into the timeline. To perform an insert edit, I can click on the insert edit button that is on the bottom of the source pane, and it will bring our clip that is marked with our in and out points only down to the timeline. But let's show you a different way, a little more efficient way to do that. I'm going to hit Command Z to edit and undo that performance. And I'm going to hit the comma key, which is the insert edit shortcut. So now that I have the clip down here in the timeline, I can do everything like I did in the source pen. I can hit the space bar to play it. These guys come in. Or I could use the J, K, and L keys to uh, navigate the timeline. So I can zoom in to the timeline so I can kind of see more what I'm doing. I can hit the plus key or I can hit the minus key to zoom in and out. Um, one really nice shortcut is the fit to timeline view. So that is the backslash key. If I hit that, it will zoom the timeline in or out to show all of the clips that I have on the timeline. So this is as good of a time as any to talk about track selection. Okay, so I'm gonna just select my clip, hit delete, and make sure my playhead is all the way at the beginning. And we'll talk about track selection over here. If I undo my video one track, and I hit my comma key, only the audio from my clip is brought down. So let's edit undo, and I will switch that around. I will undo my audio track, hit the comma key, and it only brings the video down. Okay, so I can do that. Now the drag and drop method, that same thing, is right underneath the clip. You have a video icon and an audio icon. So if I only wanted to bring the video, I could click and drag just the video down and drop it in there. Okay, so let's edit a couple of clips together. I'm going to make sure that my video and audio are highlighted so I can bring both of those down. I'm going to hit the comma key to bring that clip down to the timeline. All right, so let's select a different clip. Uh, maybe this one here. Uh, I don't really care of making this uh, make sense right now. I'm just showing the techniques of how to do this. So I'm just going to set an in and an out somewhere. And I'm going to make sure my playhead is at the end of this clip. I can either <laughs> click and drag the playhead, um, but it doesn't do like in Final Cut where it would snap. In order to do that, I have to hold the shift key, and then anytime I get the playhead near the end of an edit, it will snap to the edit. Or I can hit the up and down arrow key, so for instance, if I have my playhead in the middle of this clip and hit the down arrow key, the playhead will automatically jump to the next edit point. And vice versa, if I wanted to go to the beginning, I can hit the up arrow key. Okay, so down arrow key to the end, and I'm going to hit comma to bring this next clip in. And there we go, we've now added two clips into the timeline. I'm going to hit the backslash key to zoom, and we can see we have two clips. Alright, let's go ahead and add one more in here, and let's get a different person. Let's, uh, let's do a Rebecca clip, why not, right? So let's double click on one of hers, and again, I'm just going to select a in and an out point. I'm going to make sure my clip, or my playhead is all the way at the end, so I'm going to hit the down arrow key, and again, I will hit the comma key and the slash. And there we go, so now we have three clips around here that we've edited together, simply by just doing a couple of keystrokes. All right, so let's talk a little more about the insert edit option. Let's find another clip here from uh, from Rebecca and I'm going to do another in and an out point and let's say we wanted her clip to be in between two of these other uh, these other clips that we did in the first time here. So I want to make sure that my playhead is, in, is on the edit point so again I can hold shift and drag my playhead to make sure it is in between them and if I hit comma, now we've edited the Rebecca clip from the source pane right in between our other two clips. So let me just play it. Do anything sometimes. And he was so happy. Um, a good food. Um. So of course, this these interviews together in this format they don't make sense, and you would definitely not want to do this. But again, I'm just showing you how to perform insert edits. So let's let's undo some of these clips, and I'm gonna 
I'm going to delete some. So we have just one clip here, and it's our original clip. It's our original clip that we brought down the first time. And I want to show you one bad thing about insert edits is that they always insert wherever your playhead is. So if I have my playhead in the middle of this clip and I hit the insert edit, it's going to split the two clips to, uh, apart, and then it's going to drop that clip in right in between them. And, and he was so happy. Not feeling well. So if that ever happens, you can always just Command-Z to edit undo, but definitely make sure that you have your playhead exactly where you want the clip to come in. I could even place a clip somewhere further down the timeline just by moving my playhead down, hitting the comma key, and then it inserts it down to the timeline.